talk about his performance on Saturday. It seemed like he got everybody, he got finally back in the rhythm. Well, you know, it was really nice to see him play up to his ability. Um, he got in and he, he had a great week of practice, which really helped him quite a bit. And we, we kind of discussed, you know, playing at his best level, going into this last half stretch. And uh, he, he took it to heart, and he, and he really showed up. I mean, he played sideline to sideline, which he, I knew he was athletic. But the really the key thing that stood out with him was how physical he was. You know, he really played physical, and he really played fast. So hopefully we can build on that for the next few weeks. Curtis, Curtis got in the game, got his first sack. He's been playing a little bit more the last couple of weeks. Just talk about his progress. Well, you know, it, Curtis is, you know, it's he's at a time in his career where he needs to step up. You know, it's midway through the season. He's got a lot of repetitions, and uh, we need him to contribute. The great thing about Curtis, he's as physically gifted an athlete that, that we have in our program. I mean, he's 300. He's uh, he's in the 4'9 range. He's strong as an ox, and uh, you know he's got all the tools. Now he needs to just play up, you know, get repetitions, play. And the more he plays, the better I believe he'll get. Last thing you need is the injury, especially at the end spot. How do you think those guys did? Fair. You know, uh, we, we weren't stellar, uh, especially when it, I thought we were really we did really well in regards to the run game and run fish at times. Um, but you know, we're just we're not where we need to be as far as the, the attention to detail. Those are the things that you know we've got to be really really good, at, especially when you're young. Um, again, that's going to take repetitions, but we really need to step that up and really need to come better as, as pass rushers. Watching the film, Fletcher Cox he had a good game there, but what it really stuck out with him is it seemed like these last few weeks he's taken a step. Every week since he's come back. Every week he's improved, and uh, you know he's he's probably the smartest guy on our, and I probably is. You know he, he knows every position. Uh, he can play nose. He can play D N. He can play D tackle. And again, you know, you know, and humbly, you know, he, he he comes in every week trying to find a way to get better, and so it, it's paying off for him. A lot of times you can look at an opposing offense and say, well, they like to run it or they like to throw it, but South Carolina seems more of the a, a really balanced offense. What are what are some of the challenges you know, just facing Connor Shaw and Marcus Lattimore and all those guys? You just named them. <laughs> I mean, if it was about scheme, everybody would run the same things. You know, uh, their equipment's pretty good. You know, so when you got a guy who uh, can uh, stress you out vertically with a uh, number one, and then you got 21 who can, they play in multiple positions, they, they throw the ball to him out of the backfield. Uh, they, they hand it off to them, obviously. You know, they, they, they give you a lot of problems that you have to really address during this week of practice. So, uh, you know, but, but what our kids got to do is we got to really dive in and they'll tell you what they do. And we've got to be prepared to attack it when they tell us. Talk about what you've seen from Deontay Skinner of like. The biggest thing with Deontay has been uh, his, his productivity. You know, he's really shown up well. And the biggest thing that Deontay showed up productivity-wise has been in the special teams. Not only has he been really well uh, in, in normal scrimmage downs, he's, he's been a, a special team standout. So he's just becoming an all-around, you know, a well-rounded football player for us.